Here are 20 moments they forgot they were live. Before we continue, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications and you'll get 10 years of good luck. Try it, it works. All right, let's begin. Passing math class might never have felt more important than in this moment. As this very ecstatic contestant fails to answer the question, the host can't help but sigh. Is the minimum number of six packs one would need to buy in order to put 99 bottles of beer on the wall? 15, 17, 19, 20. I know it's easy math, but I cannot think right now. It's okay. <laughs> Take your time. Okay. All right, so. You have to figure out how many in a six pack. How many in a six pack is six. <laughs> And, uh, all right, six goes into 99. All right, goes in that first one, one. Can't remember. <laughs> Perhaps this is a sign that reporters should not be allowed anywhere near the ice, or even ice skates. Okay, the wind is blowing, the wind is blowing such that I'm able to skate backwards. This is this is actually really unbelievable. I am being blown. This. Okay. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay. Ow. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. Not really. Not really. No. It's no. really windy. Yeah. No, I'm fine. I am fine. Water may be essential for existence, but when sprayed out on a sunny day while you're dressed in formal clothes, it can feel more like a punishment than a blessing. Please don't water the reporter. I'm sorry to bother you. I'm Michael Putney with Channel 10. It's just now. WPLG's senior political... Conan O'Brien just can't help staring at Nicole Scherzinger, so she did this. The way that I met Simon was they asked me to be a guest judge, focus, Conan, to be, um, <laughs> they asked me. I'm going to keep you a serious talk. It's so kind of hard. It's so that unfair. Is so unfair. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Nobody expected this from a world-renowned model, but Tyra Banks was an absolute cringe fest when she did this. I'm not 100% today. I'm not feeling great. Jogging today with some friends around my neighborhood, and um, a friggin' dog bit me. They tested me, and the dog has rabies, and I had to get a shot. Saying the wrong thing at the wrong time will surely land you in some trouble. Eric Phillips quickly realizes his mistake when he said this. Check your panties. About 175,000 rice. I think that was supposed to be pantries. <laughs> Check your panties. Sharing a drink with your coworker always marks the beginning of a fun night. However, this Fox News anchor would soon find the drink will be the reason for his downfall. Quite literally. Can't it's open. It. It's and I'll hand. take a quick selfie. You ready? All right, ready? Okay. All okay. Right. Smile. Do we have it? Wait, wait. Yeah. Oh, no. the angle. Go to the edge. Wait, wait. the angle. Go to the edge. Oh. 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 The ACLU used to care about the rights of accused, but with Kavanaugh, well, they spent a million. Rapper Marshall Pope could have used with a little bit more practice before deciding to freestyle on live national TV. As freestyle? Well, let me sit back. Go ahead, Marshall. Okay. Years ago, they tried to, years ago, they tried to put me in the, uh, this is a lie. Mm -hmm. Did you want to try to read something from your book? Yeah. Okay. Weatherman Steve Jacobs might have broken the record of the fastest run as he rushes toward the exit after being chased by a massive rooster is a big black australop cockerel, one of 500 birds that are being judged today at the show. Uh, ah! Ah! I'll tell you more later! 
<laughs> Things got heated on this Turkish TV show when the man did this to her. <laughs> this boy was seen staring during live TV. A man tried to cut a woman's dress with scissors on live TV. Watch this homeless man fall into a garbage can in the middle of a news report. Roman Zach, nebo Sandra Nováková, speciální pozornost byste měli věnovat také herečce Evě Josefikové. Jejíž postava mladé doktorky bude jistě vaší velkou oblíbenkyní. Sometimes more than humor is lost in translation. Greg Kelly seems to have miscalculated the area between the two cars as he crashes his pedicab into the rear end of a car. Driving a pedicab. I didn't realize. Well, let's see this. Now I'm driving. You're in the back. Wow. Oh, what? That kid, oh, geez, so Pete. I saw that, it coming. That was, it coming. That was loud, actually. <laughs> Here's the deal. I admit it. I apologize to the guy. It was my fault. But then, and I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying... I'm not, well, You're definitely not right. Well, it is easy to take words out of context on national television. The interviewer of Good Morning America could have certainly chosen words better to express his feelings toward the movie Inside Out. The movie really is amazing. My girls were completely engrossed by it when we were watching <laughs> it because it, it really does make you feel like you're inside this 11-year-old girl. In a profoundly wholesome way. You may have heard of the midlife crisis, but allow Rachel Dolezal to introduce you to a racial identity crisis. This man right here is your father? Right there? Do you have a question about that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I was wondering if, uh, <laughs> if your dad really is an African-American man. That's a very, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're implying. Are you African-American? I don't, I don't understand the question of, I, did tell you that yes, that's my dad. Are your parents I'm are not, they white? I, I re, I re. Forgetting the key points to discuss at an important meeting may be embarrassing, but it's nothing compared to this reporter's embarrassment as he forgets to wear pants to his interview. Dropped out of the sky into their mailbox just yet, but the companies do say they will scale up the program if it is successful, guys. Very cool. We love it, Will. Thank you. That's full, guys. Very cool. We love it, Will. Thank you. Waiting for Santa Claus to climb down the chimney may be a tradition, but watching him struggle to get down a line from the ceiling may as well be the end of your childhood. Giving advice might not be your strongest suit, but you can never be as bad as the Miss World Philippines contestant. What piece of advice would you give to victims of cyberbullying? I think the best advice I would give to cyberbullying is, um, I mean, 
the best advice I would keep to cyber the cyber bullying is um is um um I'm sorry. Okay. I think the best advice I would give I would give to cyber bullying is to love your mom. In a Portuguese TV show, model Helen Gonzaroli was dared to take off her skirt on live TV. This reporter fails to take into knowledge that ordering pizzas may not be the Dalai Lama's strongest suit. So the Dalai Lama walks into a pizza shop. Cosa? Pizza shop. Pizza? Pizza, pizza shop, yes. Yeah, pizza. Pizza shop. And says, can you make me one with everything? Hmm. What's that? That's good. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> can you make me one oh. with everything? Oh, theoretically possible. Oh, I knew that wouldn't work. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to always be in the loop. We'll see you in the next one.